Walt Disney World. It's a family-owned food store in Norwalk, Connecticut, Stu Leonard's Dairy. But Stu Leonard, in his own way, knows every bit as well as Disney how to make his customers feel special. He achieves that by listening to them. This phenomenally successful family business is a delicious example of how a simple thing like listening to the customer can pay off. I'm from Cleveland, and I've never seen anything like this in all my life. What is life. so different? What is it that you like? It's just fabulous. It's different. There's just nothing like it. And it's the only grocery my husband will come to. Is that right? The milk is still the greatest milk ever. <laughs> I think. An average supermarket with 16,000 items on its shelves may do $200,000 of business in a good week. Stu Leonard's grosses a million and a half dollars a week with only 750 items. An astonishing $80 million a year. Part of the attraction are the prices. Stu buys directly from the producer by the trailer truckload. Meat from Iowa, fruit and produce from California. Milk is processed right in the store. Originally a small dairy opened by Stu's father in 1921. Why don't you put a boat over here so there's, so there's an aisle for the customer, right? Stu Leonard is out on the floor every day, working no, the crowd like a politician on the campaign trail. Right? Like all successful businessmen, his work is his passion. He can't keep his hands off the merchandise or the customers. Stu styles himself a monomaniac with a mission, and he is crystal clear about what his mission is, to make every customer that enters his store feel special. What we did here is we went around on the customer's side of the table. And we said, what are exactly do they want? They want better stuff at a lower price. They want a fun atmosphere. Most people think that food shopping is a drudgery. They, they, they dread it. When we did that, and when we started to really get our ear to the ground and listen to the customers and keep giving them what they wanted, before I knew it, I had to put an addition on. And then another, we put on 24 additions. And it's nothing more than listening to the customer and doing what they say. Stu Leonard Jr. has been working in the store since he was a boy and shares his father's love for the business. 30 years old, with an MBA from the University of California, Stu Jr. is in charge of company finance and the overseer of customer relations, the number one priority here. Every other Saturday afternoon, Stu Jr. leads a focus group with customers who volunteer their time to let management know what they like and don't like about the store. When I first started to come here, you carried your own brand of ice cream in plastic tubs that I could take home. It's hard to imagine customers caring enough to take the time. But if they didn't care, they wouldn't be here. They were like this, they were round with the lid on them. Yes, sir. I use them in my would, freezer. Would you buy the a round plastic tub if it was... Stu's younger brother Tom is in charge of produce. The whole family, including Stu's two younger sisters and a number of uncles and aunts, are involved in the business. I would prefer it in the plastic. It's much neater and it doesn't drip from my head. Would everybody like that? Yeah. Let's do it. The family's access to customer opinion on a daily basis is this oversized suggestion box. Our customers tell us what they don't like. Right up. Traditional wisdom has it that suggestion boxes are useless because people are conditioned to expect that no one cares about their two cents. This one is stuffed to capacity every business day. Somebody takes these out of here, first job in the morning, the first thing they do, come and open this up, and by 11 a.m. every morning we have them typed up and there's 30 copies of them distributed throughout the dairy. You know, here's one, how about stocking jars of baby food, a customer wrote in. I mean, it's a good idea. We'll look into it. There's another person wrote the tuna salad. Uh, they, they say it's more like tuna soup. So we changed that. We're adding less, less mayonnaise to it. Um, everything is okay. I'm from Tennessee and love it. You know? Uh, but, but we get all these. Here's one uh, that someone wrote. I bought a bag of jelly donuts. The raspberry jelly was fine, but the dough of the donuts was awful. I was... Uh, wasn't moist, so I mean, we talked to the donut guy this morning when he came in about that. But the concept is, is that only happy customers come back. We don't go back to restaurants that we don't like, and we don't go back to food stores. You know, that's that's the basic thing. And how do we know what they don't like? They tell us. The reason they they tell us is that we react to it. One month we had a meeting and we sat around. And we said, okay, let's tell tell us what you don't like about our store. And one of the ladies stood up and she said, I'll tell you what I don't like. She said, I don't like your fish. And, and we said, what do you mean you don't like your fish? She said, well, it's not fresh. She said, I like to go to a fish market and buy fresh fish. 
so the fish guy who was there, uh, Nick, stood up and he said, what do you mean it's not? He says, that we get that fresh every morning from Fulton Fish Market. He said, we get that fresh from the Boston Piers every morning. He said, I guarantee that's fresh. And the person said, what do you mean? She said, it's, a, it's packaged. She said, this is a supermarket package. And now here's some bluefish that's packaged. And so what we did was we set up a, a fish bar with ice on it. And we took and built this right after that training. <clears throat> and now here's a bluefish for the same price right over here. But some people like to buy it fresh right off the ice. And with the service and everything. So it's the same price as over in the package. Our packaged fish didn't decrease at all. But we doubled our fish sales. We were doing about 15,000 pounds a week. Now we're doing 30,000 pounds a week. Well, we used to sell the strawberries like everybody else in little quart baskets. And a customer suggested that we let her pick them out of the big tray as we brought them out. And we tried it. And we put the display out with all the strawberries just out of the box from the farmer. And you can't believe what's happening down there. The sales went up like triple. And now, you know, people are buying more than they even think. For example, look at that. Well, look at that woman in the yellow down there. She's going to get to the register and find she's got about a $9 bag of strawberries there. But they're thrilled and they're happy, you know, that, that they're getting what they want. And it's back to the old story to give the customer what they want. Nobody walks in the door and says, what can I do for Stu Leonard today? I mean, they walk in here and say, what can he do for me? And if he doesn't do it, I'm not going to come back. And I don't blame them. And why should they?